right, Matrix and Roadshow supporters, we're going to talk about late night television, but this time with a little something extra known as Beijing Biden. Now, as you guys know, Joe Biden doesn't really agree to sit down and talk to anybody, but he decided to sit down and talk to Seth Meyers. Now, look, Seth Meyers, obviously, he did not actually even give Joe Biden softball questions. I believe they were literally putting the ball up on a tee, and even then, Joe Biden was swinging and missing. Now, that's what he's done to the country the last four years. So, anyway, he went on there, and you would think, right, oh, from the progressive left, they're going to want to really tune in. Young voters going to really want to tune in to Joe Biden. Except they didn't, and Joe Biden's appearance on... Is it late night? Late night with Seth Myers bombed. The ratings were an epic failure. And once again, Greg Gutfeld, the Gutfeld show, absolutely obliterated this. And I promise you, he didn't have a president on. He did not have a president of the United States. And look, uh, that's I use that loosely, okay? Uh, if you want to call him that. So let's check this out. Uh, uh, Nielsen Media Research, by way of the Washington Examiner, reports that Joe Biden's appearance, quote, brought in an average of 852,000 viewers with just 181,000 in the 25 to 54 age demographic. The figure is 32% less than the same day the year prior. I don't know if Joe Biden was on the year prior, but that's not great. And he bombs with younger viewers. That's That should uh, send a, a shiver of fear down Joe Biden's spine. He's probably too old to uh, even feel anything at this point. What's especially revealing is that Biden delivered a 32% drop in 25 to 54-year-olds for late night with Seth Myers, but the show's already declining de- demo viewership for the year is down some 10% to date. So Myers is dealing with a 10% drop in younger viewers compared to 2023. But when Biden showed up, the younger viewers dropped 32%. You're right, Breitbart. That is hilarious. Especially with Biden already struggling with drawing young voters. For comparison's sake, at Fox News, Greg Gutfeld, late night show, Gutfeld attracted 2.13 million viewers. Wow, that's like 1.1 million more. And 291,000 viewers in the 25 to 54 age demographic at 10 p.m. Eastern. At 11 p.m. Eastern, Fox News with Trace Gallagher. That's just a news show, folks. Like, literally. This is what's going on. We've got a shooting in Philadelphia. Oh, we got a bad storm blowing across California. That kind of news show. Actual news. Trace Gallagher's show still beat Seth Meyers with a 1.59 million viewers and 204,000 in the 25 to 54 demographic. Uh, It should be added that neither Greg Gutfeld nor Trace Gallagher had a president or former president as a guest. They hosted normal shows and still more young people tuned in. So people just turned it over, just wanted to watch the news more than they wanted to watch Biden talk about, I don't know what. I really don't know what. Is he telling another lie, another story that's actually a lie? Yeah, I was, I built, I helped build the Brooklyn Bridge. Well, you're old enough to, so, you know. It's pretty obvious that the White House is reaching out to guys like Seth Myers to avoid questions from the White House press corps that is already sympathetic towards Biden. That's just how bad of a shape. Hunter's dad is in. (laughs) Biden's handlers know Seth Meyers is a good dog who would carry Biden through a 15-minute appearance. Even so, Biden did not do well. Biden sat down with Seth Meyers in what the White House apparently hoped would be an easygoing interview with the emphasis on easy. That low bar proved too difficult for the 81-year-old Biden to clear as he appeared disoriented at times and struggled to complete many thoughts. Well, if this sucker came on at 10 p.m., you're six hours past his bedtime. 
I mean, it's a wonder. They probably had to hook his nipples up to a damn battery before he went out there to wake him up enough to be on the show. When Myers asked, what's your 2024 agenda? Biden forgot what year it was. <laughs> Quote, look, the 2020 agenda is to finish the job. What? Biden replied, obviously Myers didn't correct him because Myers is a good dog. Literally, you couldn't say it's actually 2024. The problem for the White House, the corporate media, and the good dogs like Seth Myers is this. Biden is too far gone. The only way to hide Biden's obvious mental impairment and physical frailty from the public is to hide Biden. Yeah, and here's his problem. Uh, unlike COVID, you don't get to run this bad boy from the basement this time. All right? You don't get to hide in the basement because, oh, everybody's in the basement, especially lefties. So they saw Biden sitting in his basement, and they were like, look, look how brave, stunning, and courageous Joe Biden is. He's He's honoring COVID restrictions. Nah, he can't do that now, all right? Because everybody's out on COVID restrictions, you know, except I guess a few, probably the teachers union. He can't even handle 15 minutes with a good dog. Every time Biden makes an appearance, you can see how far gone he is. Biden should be in a memory care eating oatmeal watching Murder, She Wrote. Is that still on? Is there re reruns of that somewhere? So, I got to tell you, yeah, and they go on to talk about elder abuse. Hell, John and I were talking about elder abuse with Joe Biden when he was running last time. That's been uh, four years ago. I mean, we could tell it then. The guy's got dementia. Uh, I mean, come on. And, and, and he didn't need a cognitive test. Uh, really? I mean, he probably would have failed it. He probably couldn't even find where it was at to go take it. Somebody would have to lead him in there. It's crazy. This guy's carrying notes everywhere. I still contend he won't be the candidate. I just don't know how he can be. I think Gavin Newscomb is, is sitting back right now, waiting in the wings. That's why he was up there propping his feet up on Biden's desk when he wasn't around. I just think eventually he's going to be the nominee. I just don't see it being Joe Biden. I don't know how it could be. I mean, you're literally going to have to put the old scarecrow up on a stick and saunter him out to the podium, and then what are you going to do? At some point, his eyes are going to be too bad to read the teleprompter, and even now, he can't read it. Wow. Seth Myers. So all the lefties tuned in for Joe Biden, right? Nah. Nah. They didn't got drugged by Craig Gutfeld again. All these lefty talk, lefty talk shows are getting pulverized by Gutfeld. It's hilarious. It truly is. I mean, you know, hey, it, conservatives deserve something. At least they can get a good talk show like, like Gutfeld. I mean, well, the lefty's got the view. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.